Continue. Uh, no, I'd like you to go first, mate. I'll go first than most of them, but okay. How you doing, guys? Uh, well, it's not really Team Rise Quit, it's more just me and Sam. Hello! Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a real let's play because we, well, we feel like it. Yeah. I mean, um, they're being lazy, so there's no point us being lazy. Yeah, they're out working and stuff, and you know, we're in this horrible night in Scotland, so yeah, I thought we'd just kill some time by playing our childhood multiplayer. Oh, yeah, childhood memories coming back. Oh, God, the nostalgia! Nostalgia! It's too much. Anyway, yeah, so this is a Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters cutscene. Give me some perspective. We've never played this before. Out of the jet age. That is the future! Future! Granny oh, time, huh? Busters, busters. Poor thing, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> not being discreet. Hello, ma'am. Daffy Duck, better than a few exterminators. I believe you're in need of our A1 Super See, because there's like no outline in these characters, like, it looks really weird in the emulator. It does. Because they're more. Did they have outlines in the. No, that's because no, that's it would render better on the PlayStation. Yeah, we're doing another emulator. Kind of not for emulators. Apart right. from League of Legends. If you'll just point me in the direction of this menacing little Minecraft fellow, and I'll take care of him lickety split. Will you conquer Riddle at 3? Yeah. Which no, he still has an edit. Stuff we haven't released yet. <laughs> Future content. Now the last time I saw the little scamp, it was around here somewhere. Eee! No, no, no! It's over here! That horrible creature is over here! Yes! Please. Ignore the other rats! I want you to exterminate that one! Rid of this horrible beast! Because my poor little pets. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm on the case. Tasmanian dog. Precisely why I am worried. Daniel, spoilers. Right there, Bob. There's the name of the game. We can have a block for you over this case. Okay, this is gonna cost you extra. Uh. It's a bit of a continuity error in this game because that's not in where you say what Sam is. That's the yeah, that's one. yeah. And conveniently. Ouch! Hey, what's going on? There's somebody living down here, you know. Oh, the, the hero has begun. Hey, uh, excuse me. What's up, Doc? Mm. Hello. Can you please tell me? Pardon me, sir. Would you be so kind? But interracial people on here. Yeah, and that and devil guy just kind of just, just clipped through the wall. Yeah. Excuse me, Doc. Uh, can you help me with this? Hey, stop it! Wait, stop! I just want to give you a grand tour of this place. I just gotta know where everybody's going in such a hurry. <laughs> I know what's in. Well, hello. Don't you look like a nice little bunny rabbit? Yeah, man. Would you I'll like to it. help me? Well, I, uh... Of course you would. Come with me. Right, well done. Listen, lady, I I'd love to help you, but... Right. Well, of course you'd have to help. Yep, yeah. the kind of that you are. Warm, generous, giving. I can't disagree. You forgot Fluffy. Now, I had yeah, the misfortune to hire an exterminator who turned out to be nothing more than a silly, goofy daffy. Duck. Oh, you know him. Well, anyway, he accidentally broke the time regulator, thereby disrupting time. During the explosion, he was hurled somewhere into another dimension with a time gem. This precious stone is the core of the time regulator. Oh, we must find that duck and recover the time gem. Yes, but one more thing. We must also collect the precious gears of the time regulator. In the accident, they were scattered everywhere throughout time. Of course, I'm the going to throw this one over here. Yes, the more stable the regulator will be. There's no actual get. gears like this one. Do you understand? This is a duck. Yeah. What's this we business? It's a oh, I'm sorry. Did I say we? Oh, silly me. That's better. <laughs> no, no, me, I can't go. Unfortunately, I must stay here to stabilize the time regulator as best as I can. But don't worry, my precious pet Tasmanian devil will go with you. Yeah, what's going on? I'd rather go alone. Oh, Granny's going to what? miss her little Tassy boy. Yes, she is. Oh, brother. 
No, no, no. We mustn't eat the rabbit. Yeah, don't eat the rabbit. And that's the first cutscene done. That was quite long. So if you haven't got the gist of that, pretty much Daffy Duck caused a time machine to explode. He's caused a rift in time and space. Yes. Kind of. Pretty complex for a, for a Looney Tunes plot, but whatever. So we need to restore the flow of time and space. No, this is not Doctor Who. <laughs> See, I don't, even, I don't even laugh at that. I don't even watch Doctor Who. No, you don't. You should, know. though. It's good. Ah, I've tried. I'm not really that big into it. Anyway, shall we... Get ah, we'll it? just give them a swatch of the area. Watch. But look. Swatch means look. <laughs> I need to stop talking like that. <laughs> need to stop speaking Scottish. You need to speak English. No, we don't. No, we don't. I can just tell them what thing means. What we, we, do, we do anyway. Yeah, I just normally do. Yeah. Here right. we go. Okay, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. Time to go. Your first objective is quite simple. <laughs> go get ten years scattered around here in this area. They are essential to open the Aztec era, your first destination. At this point of the game, help or hints are available. Just and locate and touch wall. my little sweetie broken. bird, and I'll get there immediately to give you a hand. Search and listen carefully. Oh, I almost forgot an essential item. Here, take this. This is a magic mirror. It'll be very useful during your time escapade. The mirror holder controls the camera. It is particularly useful if your friend gets out of your sight or gets too far. You can magically bring him back using the mirror. Watch the mirror icon to know who's holding it. Okay, it's also selfie. possible to change <laughs> the camera control by using the swap command. That's it for now. Goodbye. Okay, finally to the game. So, yeah. where are we going first? Uh, well, we need to collect 10 gears first, so... Let's go over here. Okay, I'll follow you then. Oh, it's R1. Ah, it's R1. Yeah. I can give it back to you. Yeah, whoever's in, con whoever's in possession of the mirror is able to hand it back to the next player by pressing R1. And if Sam was to exit the screen, As like I so, wish. I'll show off. It just flicks to me. But if you press L1, hello, he's right back. So this game's about kind of well, it's not, the puzzles aren't extremely challenging, but, but some of them uh, do require teamwork. Yeah, and do make you slightly think. Run more for bugs only. <laughs> <laughs> bugs, you must use your aircopter ability to land softly on fragile surfaces, as well as your sneak ability to move silently. It will be very useful now. Reach the pole and climb up it. Then pick up the gear. Go and uh, oh yes, beware of the dog. Dog. Right, first things first. Is it her dog? I don't know. Is it just a random dog? I, I guess it kind of is her dog. Does she have a pet dog? I mean, I'm kind of referencing Sylvester and Tweety, Tweety Mysteries. You know why Sylvester's even in this game? He's not. He is. And quite a few Looney oh, wait, what Looney Tunes are in this game? Um, Daffy Duck, Bugs, You Sam, Sam, Tweety, Granny. And Taz. Is Porky Pig in it? No, he's not. Um, Elmer Fudd's in it. Elmer Fudd's in it. Perfect. Um, Count Dracula's in it, for yeah. a Looney character that he is. And so is uh, yeah, you know Bubba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, is it not? Has Hassan Chop! I thought it was Bubba. Maybe I'm not sure. This is a... Teamwork one though. To get yourself underground, find a rabbit hole and dive into it. When a hole is obstructed, use Taz to dig it open. Unfortunately, because underground traveling is rabbit business, only bugs can do it. Naturally. Well, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, there okay. Go. Here we go. Yep. Uh, now. Oh, right, okay. Now, you can move in all directions and also bump several objects from below. Just slip under them and jump. Exit rabbit holes the same way. Good luck! This whole level is just a big tutorial level to get you used to the controls. Yeah. Now, you don't have... Now, the game wants you to bump up all those uh, pillars. Yeah. But with two players, you could just go to the last one. Even in one player, you could because you can just put Taz on it. Yeah. Else. And you're on time, mate. There we go. And 
We're clearly the best people in this Let's Play channel that will get along and do teamwork. Uh huh. Yep. Let's go. Ah. Alright, where next? Uh, I think there's one over here that I can do. Oh, yeah. Ow! Bitch. He's my mother. There you go. Thanks. Over here! Over here! <sighs> Taz first has to push these big boxes and lip, drop, and stack the little ones. Ready? Go to work! Here's a trick. Use the camera to look around you. That sometimes helps in cramped locations. Let it be. There you go. I'll just, I'll just sit back and have a cigarette. Yeah, you'll just sit back and let me do all the work. Oh. You'll have to move out my view. Ah, this cigarette. It's amazing. Wait, Dan, this is supposed to be a children's game. We can't reference drugs or anything like that. <laughs> right, okay. Since when have we ever been PG? Never. Right, where's the gear? Are you kidding me on? Is it over there? Yeah, that was, was that on the box. Did I push this in the wrong direction? Yes, yeah, you did. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, just jump, spin. Get it? Probably good. Damn it. No, is it not? Jump and triangle? That, that's why I did. Really? I know how to. Nah, sometimes you get air. You, sometimes you get extra height when you do it. <laughs> God damn it. Well. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll be in PG here. Don't say the lobs name in vain. Huh. Right. Shut up. Shut your face. Ah. Oh, I'll get this. I'll get it. I'm gonna get you. I fucking hope you do. Ah, oh, come on. Right, okay. Got it. Very, very good. Sure. See? I got a very, very good. What did you get? Fantastic or something. Fuck you. I'll do this one. This one's fine. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a camp gets me. No, I'll just give it. Should we just be fucker? Mm -hmm. You ever play Bugs Bunny in time? You know, the, you know the script. Yeah. If you haven't, you jump in their head and kick them. Next one. Nuggets! What the Right. They're not from anywhere in particular on the actual levels. Oh, 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 oh hold on. Okay. There you go. The big guys you're meant to tire them out. And then you hit them from behind. <laughs> Stop laughing. What ties <laughs> Why me? One hit kill. Why me? Right. So pretty much now happens. You don't get well you do get lives, but that's when the both of you die. But uh yeah, when if only I, one I, I could just leave you here. I really Basically could. what happens if if you run out of your energy meter, Daniel, could you show off the energy meter? Uh can you can you right now? No, I don't oh there you go. Even pause menu. At the at the top of the screen you'll see three things. You'll see the two energy bars, the one on the left is bugs, the one on the right is Taz. And what we have in the middle are these little clipboards, which are our tries. Those count as our lives. Now if your energy meter runs out, you die. However, you won't lose a try unless both of you run out of energy. That's right. So in order to compensate, to bring back a fallen comrade, what you have to do is to break open one of these mailboxes. That's right. However, you can be a dick, as I'm assuming Daniel's going to do, and leave me in there. I can't because then we can't do any other gears. Yeah. So, let's do this. So, process of elimination, you had to let me out. <laughs> yeah. Over here! I'm over here! I to... Nah. You could... Oh. Oh yeah, Taz does that. Yeah, if you position... Oh. Nice. If you position Taz... Tab angle doesn't really help me here. No. You can't turn around though. Or I can just, you know, do that. Yeah, yeah. Rayman's gonna sue someone. But yeah, Bugs is the only one that can climb up poles. <laughs> Taz can't do Taz's shit. Taz's facial expressions in some of these. <laughs> but yeah, Taz can't climb up poles, but he can't hang onto ledges. Can I get this one just to throw this off? See? Bugs can do it as well. But Taz does it faster. See? Yeah, he's just like, oh, fuck it. Uh, What's next? Ah, oh, there's one over here. That's right, there was. Oh, Watch out! We get eight. I think we've got eight. <laughs> right, should we talk about this one? Hey! Get away from, <laughs> get away from my honey! <laughs> In the adventure, you'll encounter timed items, like mallets or torches, for example, and most of them can be used by bugs only. You must hurry up when using them, otherwise the item you're holding will disappear. But don't worry, it's not lost, it's just reset. And Taz, try not to eat them up, boy. It's very bad for your stomach. Bullshit. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give 
Right, okay, you can you can do it. One more for Bugs. Now, you have to practice your pitching abilities. Pick up small items and try to throw them on targets. At targets, it says there. Yeah. Also be very useful to trigger inaccessible switches or mechanisms. Never let Taz touch any of these one-hand objects. His basic instincts tell him to eat them up, and that's bad for his stomach. Yeah, here's the first. Yeah, we we kind of got the gist of it. Oh look, hand camera. Bullseye. And we've got one more to do. And we can just do that just now. Yeah. The last one is a swimming gear that we need to get. That's right. Over here! Come over here! Of course, Bugs can immediately dive in while I kinda need to do it myself. No, it's mine! It's mine! Uh, get away! Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Now that you found all the gear. I'm just gonna be ignorant and not even look at you. Era. Such a dick! Excellent! Just a couple of things before the adventure begins. Let me introduce you to a series of objects and concepts which appear <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Pay attention, people. Oh, this is important really? shit. This is important shit. The time gem is the core of your quest. Without it, the time regulator cannot function properly. You must absolutely retrieve and bring back the gem. I have detected its presence in the Aztec era. After the time gem, the time regulator gears are the most important objects of the adventure. <sighs> They're used to stabilize the time regulator. To fix the machine, collect the gears and recover the time gem. Simply touch a gear to collect it. It'll magically spin and fly back to Greenwich. These oh, acme boxes <laughs> are hidden in each level. Breaking all of them will reveal a regulator gear. No, because this is Several characters of different errors have been accidentally hurled out of their proper error. You must find them all and return them to their respective world by just touching them. Search carefully, they're sometimes hidden. A clapboard represents a try. When there are no tries left, the game is over. They can be found everywhere along the game. To collect them, just walk over them to add them to the clapboard counter. The carrots are your fuel, your energy. If your energy bar drops, you can increase it with carrots. When your energy bar is full, the carrots are simply collected. In some cases, a certain number of carrots is required to activate objects or access new areas. Yes. The boss tokens are keys to open the boss level. Oh shit. Much Find shit all the boss tokens in an era, and you'll get access to its era boss location. Here's a very important thing. You can save anywhere in the game. Just go to the pause menu and select the save option. Your progress will be saved, but not your exact position. You can see your progress in the game by using the inventory. This tells you the number of gears or boss tokens you've collected, the number of acme boxes you broke, and the number of lost characters you've returned to their respective worlds. Yep. If you need additional help, Jesus go Christ. to the pause menu uh. and select the help <laughs> Did we option. actually set through this one? You can also the game? consult the game booklet. I think I did. All the information I you I need is in there. I just kind of figured okay. it out as I went. That's all for now, folks. You've done a splendid job. Wait, the first time we played this was in Christmas together? And we're playing it again at almost that exact same time. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you the way. Boom! Headshot. Now, the Aztec door is opened. Good luck. I'm gonna need more than luck with this guy around. Uh, I'm over here. In fact, Ooh. I think I'm gonna need a flea dip. Bugs, I, I'm over here. I thought I'm gonna need a what? I think you're gonna need to feed him. But I think uh, he kind of puts an L in front of the two E's. Yeah. Anyway, thank God the, t the tutorial level is over. And let's go.